Using a material collection system or bagger can help you collect clippings and ensure your lawn stays clean all season long. Today, we'll show you how to install a material collection system on your Z-Track mower. Remember, before starting any install or removal of attachments, be sure to recognize safety info, understand safety signal words, and be familiar with your operator's manual. The first step is to park the machine safely on flat ground, engine off, parking brake set, spark plug wires and battery cable disconnected, and the key removed. Next, we'll install the rear attachment bar and the front weights. If equipped, loosen the carriage bolts and lock nuts on the hitch. If installing the bumper and the hopper at the same time, start by installing the hopper receiver bracket. Insert the bolts into the bumper and secure the lock nuts. Tighten to spec. Position the bumper at the back of the machine and slide it onto the support tabs. If equipped, install the hitch back onto the rear of the machine using the retained bolts. After it's behind the bar, match up the holes and secure with bolts and lock nuts. Tighten to spec. Adding a ballast helps to counterbalance the total weight of the bagger. Add a ballast when the bagger is installed and remove when not bagging. Install the weight bracket by removing the foot platform and installing the bracket to the machine using five bolts and lock nuts. Tighten to spec and replace the foot platform. Next, we'll install the hopper and shield. Start by removing the pre-assembled hardware from the hopper frame support. Insert in the gusset rod through the flat washer and hole in the H-frame. Secure it with the washer. Align the support tubes and set the hopper onto the H-frame. Next, add the bagger flap to the rear using the bolt and nut as shown. Secure the shield with two bolts and lock nuts. Then, reinstall the rod into the hole on the frame support and tighten. Next, we're going to install the ballast. Pull out the spring locking pin and rotate to release. Install the weights on the bracket and pull the spring locking pin into place like this. Lift the assembled bagger and align it on the mounting post. Lower to align with the holes and secure by inserting the pin into the hole and lock with the spring locking pin. To secure the bracket, tighten the hand knob. Install the chute and align the holes. Install bolts with the bolt on the inside and lock nut on the outside. Tighten the lock nuts until the chute is snug. Next, we'll position the bags and insert the clip into the groove on the frame to secure the bags. Lastly, we'll install the power flow chute. Insert the round end of the chute into the upper chute and guide it over the opening on the power flow. Secure with the strap and hook. Before getting started, make sure to close and latch the hopper lid. And just like that, you're good to go. To purchase parts and attachments, please visit your local John Deere dealer or visit partscatalog.deere.com.